Hi everyone and welcome back to a new episode of Spring Boot Security. Today we are going to implement the logout action for our application. Now before we get started, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to this channel in order to stay tuned for more courses that will sharpen your programming skills. In order to implement a logout feature, there are two things that we have to do. The first one is we need to add a logout button somewhere here in our upper menu. So we need a button to actually trigger the logout mechanism. The second thing that we need to implement is we need to configure uh, Spring Security to be aware of our logout button and its corresponding action. So let's write some code and see how we can implement that feature. So, like I told you, we need to add a logout button and I want to add it in the upper menu. So this is the upper menu where we have our navigation. And what I want to do is I want to add another button for logout. So exactly like for the login page, I'm creating a form. This form method, uh, this form has a method and it's post and the action is dash logout, okay? And then we have here a button here of type submit. So when we click it, we will actually trigger an HTTP request to dash logout using the post verb. So as you can see, uh, logout is pretty similar to login. We need to perform a post HTTP request to a specific URL. Now, of course, the name here matters because we are using the default Spring security conventions. So dash login is for authentication, dash logout is, well, for signing out, okay? But even if we have this in place, I mean, we can fire up our application right now, just adding this method here, uh, as you see, is not quite enough. We also need to configure uh, Spring Security to use this logout action, you know, and to trigger the logout event. Now, we can open a browser, I'll hit refresh. I'll try to log in, so let's use admin admin123, okay, and we have our logout button, I click logout, okay, I have a 404 not found because even though we have um, executed a post request to dash logout, we have not configured Spring Security to watch for that event. So that's what we are going to do now. We are going to go to security configuration and we are going to add the following line. So and logout, I want to uh, configure this with a logout request matcher and it's going to be a new and uh, path request matcher dash logout. So obviously the pattern that we put in here needs to be the same with what we add over here. Now I've, I've used logout you know, for um, uh, consistency, but you can add any path in here as long as you configure uh, Spring Security, uh, Spring Security's logout uh, feature with that path, okay? And also another thing that we need to configure is the logout success URL. So after we successfully log out, uh, where do we want to get redirected? Now, one option is going to be the index page, Another option is going to be the, lo the login page. Now remember that we are logged out, so we need to find the page w that everybody can access. So in our case, it's just index and login. And I'm going to return the user back to the login page after he successfully logs out. And that's the only line of code that we need to add to implement logout for our application. So we need to mention here that we want logout. We need to provide the route uh, that will trigger the logout event and also what happens on successful uh, signing out. Okay, and now I'll fire up the application again and we'll try to use this feature. I think everything is okay. So I want to go here. I'll use then, then one to three. 
I am logged in, okay? I can go here, I can check the profile, and now I am logging out, okay? And I have been redirected to the login page, and the mechanism just works. So now, for example, if I go back to index and I try to access my profile, I'm no longer logged in. I have to do that all over again. Cool. So this is how to implement logout uh, in a form-based security context. One line of code, one simple form that performs an HTTP post and you're done. And that's it for today's episode. Before we close, I would like to remind you to subscribe to this channel and stay tuned for more software development tutorials that will sharpen your programming skills. Just go to the Romanian Coder YouTube page and click on the subscribe button. Also, if you found this video useful, please hit the like button and share it with your friends. If you have any comments, thoughts or ideas for new courses, just put them in the comment section at the end of this video because I would love to get feedback from you guys. You can also find me on Twitter at Romanian Coder and you can also check out my blog www.romaniancoder.com. Until next time, have a great day and write amazing code. Goodbye.